Hi guys, so today I want to talk to you guys about how to lose breast fat naturally without having a breast reduction. People automatically assume that because they have big breasts that they have to have a breast reduction. Well, that's not the case. Um, you can lose your breast fat naturally. I myself did do it. When I was younger, at a young age, I was fully developed. I had family members on my dad's side who had big boobs. So it was all in my genes. Um, I was destined to have big boobs. I did have big boobs. Being on a basketball team, I had the biggest boobs on the team. Running down the court, it was hard to manage. They hurt. So it was some things that I could not do with big boobs that I could have did a lot better with smaller boobs. It wasn't that I hated my boobs, but it was just that I didn't want them. They weren't for me. Here, take them, give them to somebody else. I didn't want them. So, I wanted to change and I wanted to do something differently. I talked to my mom about it and I said, hey mom, I said, I want to um, do a consultant with a doctor so I can um, maybe have a breast reduction. Knowing me, deep down inside, I was very nervous because I don't ever want to go into the knife. I did try to look at some videos to see how it would be, but it scared me to think of the idea of having surgery. So, I tried a second option. I also had ended up gaining weight, so it added more to my it added more to my boobs. It's like everything that I ate, it went straight to my boobs. It didn't go nowhere else. It went directly to my boobs. So as I started adding more weight, I started to see them get bigger, and I realized, okay, I have to do something differently now. So my mom started meal prepping for me. I ate lean meats, I ate fruits, I ate vegetables, and I drank a lot of water. I also went into a calorie deficit. So at the time, I was probably eating about 2,500 2, calories. Sorry, 2,500 calories. I went into, I want to say, a 1,000 calorie deficit and started eating 1,500 calories. At the most, probably 1,800 calories. And I worked out for four to five times a week out of seven and I um took a three day rest period that was in the very beginning. I was doing three to four miles a day. But I was also jump roping. I was doing stuff like high knees, you know, jumping jacks. I was doing a lot of hit workouts. And I just started seeing the weight come off. But not only, at first I noticed it in my face. Because when, when you're doing cardio, I can't you can't just say, okay, cardio, listen here. I got big boobs. You got to get rid of them. They got to go. They got to go. You can't just say that. So it's like the weight, when the weight comes off, it comes off wherever. It don't matter where it comes off. And a lot of times you see it in your face first. So I started seeing it in my face first. But then when I kept going, I started seeing it in my boobs. And everything just started reducing. It just started getting smaller. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, I can do this without actually going under the knife. And my cousin once told me, I'm like, okay, I don't want these boobs no more. I do not want these boobs. She was like, well, you stuck with them. It ain't nothing you can do to get rid of them boobs. If anybody ever tell you that, they are lying to you. You do not have to have a, you do not have to have a breast reduction to get rid of your boobs. You can do a lot of cardio. And I'm not saying go out and be extreme with the cardio, running 10 miles a day. I'm not saying do that. Don't go harm yourself to try to lose weight. It comes with due time. Start off for maybe four to five days out of a week. Maybe jogging three to four, jogging and walking, or you start off walking. You don't have to just jog. You can walk. Whatever works best for you two three maybe four miles at best a day and the most you will lose in a week is one to two pounds no more than that you have to be patient with working out and losing weight come patience the scale stay off the scale but the key thing to do when working on breast fat because when you work on reducing your breast fat and your breasts is taking before and after pictures. 
but also at the same time, like I told you, you can't just call cardio and be like, cardio, I need you to take this off. I'm getting sick of these breasts. I can't do this no more. It don't work like that. So within due time, all your weight from your body, your body fats, it just starts to shred off. So take before and after pictures. And then when you look at it, be like, that ain't me. That ain't me. I did that without a breast reduction. And I, I hopefully I want to show you guys some pictures. I want to put them right here. And I want to put them right here. I want to show you guys some pictures of my before and my after. My boobs are really, really big. They're still to a point to where I don't like the size of them. I do want to get them a little smaller. And I will be doing a challenge on here. So, guys, stay tuned. And with that being said, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys like the information I gave you. If you guys have any more questions, please feel free to ask. I hope I didn't leave anything out. If I did, I will come back with a part two. And also, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.